Today, we'll be discussing on nutrition and brain development. Our brain is just like a car. A car needs oil and other material to run properly. Just in the same way, our brain also needs special materials like glucose, vitamins, minerals, and other essential chemicals to function properly. Nutrition has been called the single greatest environmental influence on babies in the womb and during infancy, and it remains essential throughout the first years of life. A proper balance of nutrients in this formative period is critical for normal brain development. Sources of nutrients such as iron and iodine can impair cognitive and motor development and these effects are often irreversible. Similarly, there is a growing evidence that DHA, also known as docosahexanoic acid, is an essential fatty acid, is a key component of the intensive production of synapses that makes the first year of life a critical period of learning and development. Many other nutrients such as choline, folic acid, and zinc, to name just a few, have been linked specifically to early brain functioning. The role of nutrition in brain development is complex. Nutrient deficits can also affect the complex chemical processes of the brain and can lead to less efficient communication between brain cells. Now, let's see the role of various nutrients on brain health. One of the cornerstones of healthy brain development is appropriate nutrition. It is critical for the first three years when 75% of the brain growth is occurring. From pregnancy through infant feeding and transitioning to toddlerhood, children must get proper nutrients for the brain to develop correctly. During this time, a child should have adequate intake of carbohydrates, feeds, and protein, as well as vitamins, minerals, and water. The brain needs energy from the macronutrients and chemical components in vitamins and minerals to function and grow. Proteins and fatty acids are building blocks, and glucose from carbohydrate is the main source of energy. First, we'll see the complex carbohydrate. The body and the brain gets energy from a substance called glucose, which is found largely in carbohydrate. The brain uses between 20% to 30% of the energy. Complex carbohydrates found in starchy foods like whole grain bread, pasta, and rice are better because they release energy slowly and help the brain to function in a stable way. For better concentration and mental performance, it is better to choose whole grain foods like whole meat, bread, instead of refined versions like white bread. Next, we'll see the essential fatty acids. Lipids from feeds are necessary for neurotransmitter release and for the ability of neurons to use needed energy. The dry weight of the brain is about 60% fat, and a fifth of this fat is made from the essential fatty acids omega-3 and omega-6. Omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids are normal constituents of cell membrane and are essential for normal brain function. Dietary deficiency of omega-3 fatty acid in humans has been associated with increased risks of several mental disorders including attention deficit disorder, dementia, depression, and bipolar disorder. The omega-3 fatty acid DHA is a prominent component of neuronal membrane. Most of us eat much more omega-6, which is found mostly in poultry, eggs, avocado, and nuts, than omega-3, which is found in oily fish, seeds, especially flax seeds, and nuts, especially walnuts. Trans fats, however, also known as hydrogenated fat, are particularly bad for the brain because they stop essential fatty acids from doing their work effectively. They are found in many ready-made foods like cakes and biscuits. As a resource of omega-3, oily fish is very good for the brain. So, it is good to eat oily fish like salmon, 
herring and mackerel. Next is the amino acids. Neurotransmitters in the brain which regulate our moods are made from amino acids. Some of these amino acids came from what we eat and drink. For example, the neurotransmitter serotonin, which helps us feel content and is important for sleep, is made from the amino acid tryptophan found in milk, oats, and other foods. Certain food contains precursor for some neurotransmitters. If a diet is deficit in certain precursor, the brain will not be able to produce some neurotransmitters. Neurological and mental disorders may occur when the balance of neurotransmitter is upset. Example includes First, aspartic acid, which is used to make aspartate. It is found commonly in peanuts, potatoes, eggs, and grains. Next is the choline, which is used to make the acetylcholine. It is found commonly in eggs, liver, and soya beans. Glutamic acid, which is used to make glutamate, is found commonly in flour and potatoes. Phenylalanine, which is used to make dopamine, is found mostly in soybeans, almonds, meat, and grains. Next is the tryptophan, which is used to make serotonin, is found in meat, eggs, skim milk, bananas, yogurt, milk, and cheese. Last is the tyrosine, which is used to make norepinephrine, found in milk, meat, fish, and legumes. Next, we'll see the vitamins and minerals. Components from vitamins and minerals provide some essential chemicals. Vitamins and minerals are important for the functioning of the whole body. The brain uses vitamins and minerals to help perform vital tasks. A vitamin or mineral deficiency or shortage can affect mood as well as other brain functions. Vitamins such as folate and B12 support the healthy function of the nervous systems like the brain, the spinal cord, and the nerves. A deficiency in either of these vitamins can cause a wide range of problems including memory problem, fatigue, muscle weakness, psychological problem, and mouth ulcer. Now we'll see about the vegetarian diet. According to some studies, a dietary pattern that has repeatedly shown positive effects for brain and general health is the Mediterranean diet. The diet is characterized by high consumption of extra virgin oil rather than other feeds. High intake of fish, high intake of fruits, vegetables, cereals and legumes, moderate intake of alcohol, low intake of meat, particularly red meat and low to moderate intake of dairy products. The general health benefits of the Mediterranean diet are already recognized and research is now beginning to indicate that Mediterranean diet may also help to maintain cognitive function in old age, which includes thinking and understanding processes such as memory, attention, reasoning, and language. The diet may also decrease the risk of dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Now, we'll see some of the foods and drinks which can boost the brain. There are some foods that seem to be particularly good for our brain when eaten as part of a balanced diet. First is the extra virgin olive oil. This is a healthy source of fat in the diet and can help reduce cholesterol levels and blood pressure. Some studies have linked olive oil with lower risk of cognitive impairment and Alzheimer's disease. Oily fish, which includes salmon, herring, mackerels, is an excellent source of omega-3 fatty acids which our brain needs to stay healthy. Berries and other deep-colored fruits and vegetables, examples, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, spinach, beetroot, beans. These foods are rich in antioxidants which can help guard against disease by protecting cells in the body and brain from damage. Next is the food containing good fats. Food containing polyunsaturated fatty acids like nuts, seeds, fish, leafy, green vegetables, and monounsaturated fatty acids, which include extra virgin olive oil 
avocados, nuts may reduce the risk of both depression and dementia. Dark chocolate. It contains high levels of antioxidants. Although it is also high in sugar and fat, one small piece of dark chocolate per day is enough to get the antioxidant benefit. Now, we'll see malnutrition and brain development. There is always a link between poor nutrition and environment. The brain of a human fetus grows rapidly from the 10th to 18th week of pregnancy. So, it is important for the mother to eat nutritious food during this time. The brain also grows rapidly just before and for about two years after birth. Malnutrition during this period of rapid brain growth may have devastating effects on the nervous system and can affect not only neurons but also glial cells development and growth. Research on experimental animal has shown that malnutrition is capable of producing physical, biochemical, and functional changes in the central nervous system. Now, we'll see the effect of malnutrition on intelligence and behavior of children as studied by some scientists. Recent studies by several groups of workers have shown that malnutrition can affect significantly the intelligence and learning capacity in children. Kobak and Najadanvik in 1965 tested a group of 36 Serbian children who had suffered from malnutrition in their preschool years and found about half of them scored below the accepted limit of normal intelligence. Carvio Tu and his co-worker in 1966 reported that children who have recovered from severe malnutrition prove very much inferior to normal well-nourished of the same age group with respect to their mental development and learning capacity. Latting and co worker in 1967 found very low intelligence quotient in malnourished Indonesian children, showing signs of vitamin A deficiency as compared with controlled healthy children from the same locality. More recently, Carvio Tu and co worker in 1968 have carried out a systematic study of neurointegrative development and intelligence in school children who recovered from shibir protein calorie malnutrition in early childhood. The results have indicated that the experimental children attend significantly lower scores in the verbal and performance skills of intelligence tests. Second, their visual kinesthetic intersensory integration was significantly inferior and lastly, they saw lack in development of audio-visual competence as compared with a controlled group of well-nourished children of the same group. Now, coming to the conclusion, we now know that particular nutrients influence brain function. With an educated nutrition, the brain can grow and form connections between neurons and exons. When a child does not get adequate amount of these key nutrients, brain growth and functioning may deteriorate. The brain chemistry and functioning of the nerve of the brain can be altered if there is a change in nutrient or energy intake. What a child eats can affect how the brain functions, which can affect a child's cognitive abilities and learning. Poor or imbalanced nutrition can also affect a child's mood, verbal abilities, sleeping pattern, and more. Most of the body's functions are directed by the brain, so educate nutrition is critical for healthy development of the brain. As discussed, several dietary components have been found to supply the necessary chemicals which make proper brain development. Also, it is evident that children who have recovered from severe malnutrition in early childhood have inferior mental development and learning capacity as compared with normal, well-nourished children, and as it is difficult to determine whether a particular nutrient's effect on the brain development, it is better to maintain a balanced diet by eating a variety of foods.